So in this video, Knox has been hiding down in the basement when we had a pressure washer come. So he comes upstairs and I start to offer him more food. I was actually throwing food in his direction when he was downstairs to bring get his attention and help him to start feeling better. Um, I offer him a foraging feeder that he is used to using um, in the presence of the stranger danger outside the window. And as you can see, Knox is, instead of focused on the perceived threat, he's now focused on finding food. So a lot of people might think, well, what's the big deal? The cat's afraid he went and hid, let him hide. And when the scary thing is gone, he'll come back. But that is, um, it's actually a misconception. The animals aren't fine. Um, animals that are under prolonged amount of stress, it actually affects their body. And Knox has his, in, earlier in his life, has suffered from a lot of issues, including urinary tract um, inflammation and stress is particularly dangerous to a cat who's had urinary issues before. Every time Knox is stressed, um, he tends to have a urinary issue flare up. So what I'm doing here is reinforcing Knox for not running away from the perceived threat and then I redirect him back to the foraging toy. And then a few minutes later, he's so relaxed and he's already feeling comfortable. He's near the window where the scary danger is. Um, he's now doing a little bit of post foraging grooming, which is what we want to see. His belly's up, he's on the floor, he's more relaxed. He's no longer behaving fearfully and hiding. And he's now closer to the perceived threat. So now that Knox has shown he's much calmer, closer to the threat, we are doing another puzzle feeding foraging activity on his little tissue paper pile. He tends to sit here when he's comfortable, and so I've moved this puzzle feeder closer to the window where the perceived threat is, which is only building up his confidence even more to feel good by hunting and foraging and consuming foods that he enjoys in the presence of something that was scaring him earlier. We are using food in with fearful felines because if a cat has offered food before he reaches a high stress level while in the presence of something that scares him, a positive emotional response happens. Food actually has the ability to redirect a fearful cat's brain chemistry. So the circuits that are in a cat's brain that encourages seeking or hunting behavior is what we're engaging when we offer the puzzle feeders. Um, and they're also circuits that elicit the fear response. But when we're offering food via foraging, via puzzle feeders, we turn on the seeker system, which actually essentially turns off their fear. Not sure if you caught that, but he actually offered a sit. So Knox knows how to sit and high five and down and do a variety of behaviors. But the fact that he's freely offering behaviors that he knows with his back to the window where the perceived threat was means he's that this process is working. He's obviously very focused. He's doing, he's offering behaviors that he's already comfortable with and he's engaging with a, a puzzle feeder that he's actually never had access to before. So this is a new, a new foraging um, puzzle feeder for him. So it's working. He's calmed down. He's more focused. He's not worried about the perceived yeah. threat anymore. Yeah. And uh, he's having a good time. That's what we want to happen. Hey, buddy. Good boy. Good girl. Good boy, Knox. Good boy, Knox. 
How will you get it, huh? Oh, beautiful. Goodbye. Hey, it's okay, buddy. Oh, look. Look what's in there. So when the pressure washer hit the window, it scared all of us. We were all startled, but I was actually surprised that Knox did not bolt and run and hide. So what I did was just continue to redirect him back onto the puzzle feeder and made it, I was, made it really exciting that we still had this puzzle and he still had food to find. And that's the idea to keep him focused on that. Now, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm completely out of food. I've used all of Knox's meal for the foraging activity. And so what I'm doing now is helping him to find the last little bits and pieces that are in there. Ideally, what I've sh if I had more food, I would just make it rain down on Hocus, the dog, and Knox at that time. So we would want to just have a giant treat party in the presence of that loud, scary thing behind him. But instead, um, because we've already built up um, a reinforcement history with puzzle and foraging feeders, Knox continues to look for food. So that's what we're looking for. Even in the presence of something really scary, he continues to search for food. I see a couple more.